Vitamin D synthesis starts out with 7-dehydrocholesterol in the bloodstream. UV light from the sun comes in contact with the epidermis and reacts with epidermal keratinocytes. The keratinocytes transform 7-dehydrocholesterol to vitamin D3. The liver adds a hydroxyl or a hydrogen and oxygen group to the vitamin D3. Here is the vitamin D3 before the hydroxyl group is added. And here is after the hydroxyl group is added to form calcidiol. The kidneys add another hydroxyl group. Here is the calcidiol before a hydroxyl group is added. And here is after the hydroxyl group is added to form calcitriol or vitamin D. Vitamin D is used in bone resorption, reduced excretion of calcium in the kidneys, and the absorption of calcium and phosphate in the digestive tract. Also, in conjunction with parathyroid hormone, or PTH, vitamin D helps to correct hypocalcemia, or calcium blood deficiency. To help you visualize this, we will use these green marbles to represent osteoclasts, and these darker marbles to represent osteoblasts. Here is the blood when it's normal. Then, the levels of calcium in the blood start to decrease. Then, parathyroid hormone is secreted. The levels of osteoclast are increased, while the levels of osteoblast are decreased. This brings the blood back to normal. Parathyroid hormone promotes the final step of calcitriol synthesis in the kidneys. This enhances the calcium-raising effect of calcitriol. Parathyroid hormone causes phosphate to be excreted more through urine and calcium to be excreted less through urine. This helps to increase calcium concentrations in the blood. Thanks for watching.